Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Angels of Death. I am the Outback Al. I'm Yen and Young. I'm Chibi New. I'm Envy Jitters. I'm Jiren Cosplay. And I'm Cozy. And we're currently watching Zach in the in the in the drink. And he's asking us for a smile, I guess. Fine, fine. Hey, can you give me a smile? No, we couldn't. We couldn't cry. We couldn't anger. What makes we, you think we can smile? Smile. You look better if you smile. Ugh, no. Hey, Abby, go fuck yourself. Oh no, none of that. None <laughs> of that now, no. Uh, not better. Creepy. Uh, how's that? You're dead in the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. What are we wasting time on this crap for? You know, it's a great fucking question, Zach, and you keep bringing it up. Because you won't get on the freaking button. Hey, so I just need to stand on top of that thing over there? Uh-huh. Well, hurry up and get over there already. It's cold and gross over here. You were the one who kept this conversation going for so long. Could have just done the thing. Okay. Okay, do I have to go back? Yeah. I gotta go back to the place earlier. Now we're probably gonna run into someone who's gonna chase us. I don't know, you think they're pissed off about what happened? Maybe. Hey, look at that crack. Let's get inside that crack. Who doesn't love good crack? Hey, a note. Don't be startled. You know why? Because we are one and the same in our desires. So you want to kill me? It's dark. I gotta turn on a light. And then creepy things. Where that it? Where that torch? Dare that torch? Ugh. Another small note. I shall grant what you desire, but I've got my own desires as well. Uh huh. I hope it didn't have anything to do with that headstone we destroyed. Ugh. <sighs> If possible, I want you to devote yourself to me. I mean, isn't it great being in love? Nope. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> I know all about you. You want to die, right? If we were having this conversation with you in real life, absolutely we would want to die. Oh, my <laughs> God. Right? So... Just say yes. No. no. The door unlocked. Yay. Hooray. Let's go inside. Oh, what was that? Oh. <laughs> Shit, how long did I gotta stay in this water for? Hey, it feels like something rang under my feet. That means I can move now, right? Maybe. I don't know. I wonder how she's doing. Probably not as good now. Guess I'll head back to the hole she went in. Um, it's Zach now? Whoa, oh. spoopy. Huh, what the? Looks like some dumbass forgot to pay the electric bill. Damn rat trap of a place. Are you one to talk? We saw your floor and it was a dump. Like, <laughs> almost literally a dump. Uh, we did not get to see um, his actual house, though, so. Mm. She's still not back. What the hell's inside there, anyway? 
If that bitch bolts on me, nah, that won't happen. The hell's up with her anyway? Won't run and all emotionless. Yeah, Kelly Crow would be boring as fuck. Hmm. Apart from the dead-eyed stare, she almost looked alive back there. Ugh, I'm about to go out of my mind. Me too. Leave me alone for three seconds. I'm like, mm, I'm gonna go crazy. Not again! Oh, are you freaking serious? Oh, it's a blackout. It's pitch black. Look at the fireworks. Oh, yeah, okay, Paso. Who's there? <laughs> well, I'm fine with us turning into In the Heights or something. But <laughs> 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 oh, I think that's you. You grave desecrator. Oh, isn't he so cute? Aww. Who that? Tiny. Howdy, Zach. Is that me? I think so. Okay. Eddie. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, not with the hollowed out eyes again. <laughs> I had a nice spot for you with everyone else, but you ruined your own grave. You're insane. Yeah, that's kind of his whole deal. That might be, but don't you think mine was a piss poor excuse for a grave? No. Thank you. Damn you. Sorry. Due to the circumstances, yours was a bit of a rush job. The hole's only half dug. Then again, you're only half sane. But your tombstone's just fine. It fits you to a T if you catch my drift, hehe. <laughs> so, so it was actually Zax. Probably. How about I make your grave first? Oh. Oops. Oh no. Well, enough about you. I'm more interested in getting that girl's grave finished. I'm... I'm in love. He's just a girl in love. <laughs> yeah. It's always the same thing, making graves for murder victims day in and day out. I was getting a touch bored. Sure, making graves is my passion, but the bodies that occupy them are not quite as lovable. Beauty in what is what they lack. But for that girl, I want nothing more than to make the grave of my dreams for her. Everyone's in love with this ten-year-old. Yeah, it's weird. I think we're around the same age, too. Oh, okay. Never mind, Most of all, I want to show her I understand her. We're made for each other. That should be infinitely more beautiful than some sloppy and mangled corpse. You're slowly turning into Shiloh. Ah! Put that away. Oh, should she desire it? Sloppy is perfectly fine, too. You are Shiloh right now. Yeah, I'm a stalker no, again. No. Are you trying to make me hurl? She's trying to make a move on my corpse? What? My sophistication makes me the perfect match for her. Too bad I can't say the name the same for you. Um, you were oh. Zach's way too old for her. That's why the one taking her life will be me. Sounds like some little punk doesn't know his place. I mean, you're the one intruding on his floor, but... Yeah, right? Zack's not good with boundaries. <laughs> no. Shit, I can't see my hand in front of my face. Uh-oh. Fucking punk. Damn him. Hey, get your ass back here. Was that at him or at her? Yeah. Who knows? It's cold. Cold. Huh? Uh oh. Uh oh Ooh, boy. It won't open. That's not good. That's never good. Well, that's also not good. Get ready to fight. Nope. <sighs> I guess something's wrong with the torch. 
It all happens at it once, doesn't it? Is. There it goes again. Yep. Whoa! Fucking... Okay, that one actually got me. Oh, come on. You gotta see those coming from a mile away. This whole thing is flicker light pop-up kind of thing. Dude, I'm still not all the way awake. <laughs> is it running low on juice? Hey, Rachel, I'll grant your desire. What was that? A stalker. Mm hmm Well, this looks like an elevator room. Mm. Yeah. What'd that do? Temperature and heat are displayed. People. What'd I do? Some sort of fan is running. What'd I do? It's some sort of device. This is just some sort of stuff. Everyone was all this stuff. Ooh, there's a cabinet. There's a cabinet? Yeah, right there. Oh. There's a cabinet. An icy chill pervades the air. It appears to be a freezer. Ah. Oh! Something's written on it. Is it a little note? Only for my use. We, oh, Rachel, can use this. There's a dead body in there. Definitely. So, wait, is the cabinet for their use or the corpse? Uh, for his use to put the corpse in there. Ah, uh, it's filled with cold water. The water smells like some sort of chemical. Ooh, chlorine. Formaldehyde. Okay, was it the one I didn't click on? Here's be a temperature control device. Meow. Has a bar for adjusting the water temperature. Motherfucker. Oh. I don't think we can use any of this. Let's just run I down and jump our... in the water. Go across the bridge. Raise the temperature. Can we not go any further than that? Or is that a wall? Oh, well, that's a thing. Oh. Here's a thermostat displaying the water temperature. It was not glowing like that before. Nope. The temperature is quite low. Quite. It's warmer. Now I feel a tad guilty for making Zacky in the water. Only a tad. The rest of us feels fine about it. <laughs> I shall raise the water temperature. It's got a barty bubbity do. If I raise this. Rachel, no! Rachel, yes! Huh? Lights. Oh, flicker on and off. Don't act so surprised! The one talking to you this whole time is none other than me! It was me, Edward! <laughs> There's no need to run. I won't fly off the handle and kill you like the others. Besides, I know what you desire. My desire? Yes, that's right. No worries, I know everything about you. Ah, he read our resume. Your father and mother, those close to you, everything. If it were me, I'd take your life as painlessly as possible and even make the perfect grave for you. Plus, just look at me. You and I are even around the same age. We're practically made for each other. I... What are you so silent for? kind of our brand. Please, Rachel. Hop in the water. Please say yes. I'm good, fam. Hey, get back out here. Oh, no, that's Zach. 
Oh. Oh. Hey, get back out here. Hey, get back out here. So everyone say it. <laughs> I said get your ass back out here now. Now. Shit. Can she not hear me? How freaking far did she go in? Ugh. Grave digging dipshit thinking he can outwit me. Who can't outwit you? That punk, he's in love with her and wants to kill her himself. Dot makes me want to puke. I can't have her going dying on me yet. Mm, she mentioned something about another room in the back on the right. Wasn't there a crumbling wall in the room on the right? Guess I'll take a look. More cracks in walls. So much crack in this place. It's a crack house. At least there's not ketchup everywhere. Oh, there it is. He's Crack. gotta be blind. Or he's just too tall. Hey, are you in there? Can you hear me? I read those completely backwards. Ah, uh, dyslexia. Rachel, what's troubling you? I don't know, you. It's Ross. Go on, tell me your desire. I want ice cream. <laughs> I want to die. Look, I told you so. But I want to die from, like, a tall guy? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, let me put you out of your misery. No, I just, I like, I like my killers tall. Sorry. So, will you say yes? Nah, fam. I'm getting impatient. You really did turn him into Shiloh now. <laughs> could, could it be his doing? Dude, you're getting jealous of, like, an actual adult. Tell me, why are you with Zack? I promised to let him kill me. Wah, that's so messed up. I even offered to kill you myself, too! But if I let you, then he won't be able to get out of here. Is that all? That shouldn't be a problem at all! And this guy is really entitled to murder, isn't he? I feel like there's a metaphor here. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Are you in there? Oh my god, Zach, that actually thought, sounded like concern. Ugh, looks like loudmouths here. Choose who will be your killer. Him or me. My sweet Rachel, let me lovingly put you to rest. Did we pick? I don't know. <laughs> Sophisticated? More like medicated. Oh, them burns! You're gonna kill her with that boring look on her face? What a fucking idiot. And I guess Rachel's into that. Oh, will you shut up? Rachel and I are talking. I love it when he negs me. Hey, can you hear me? I'm not talking to the grave digging dipshit. I'm talking to you. Me? Hey, dumbass, coming. I thought I was dumbass. <laughs> yes, you. Listen up. Don't think for one second that you can die of your own will. How oddly inspiring. There's plenty of people in this building who'd love to kill you. 
but I'll have the honor. I like the beat drop. I swear to God. To God? God, are we thinking about this? It's like going full like anime music. It is. So make sure no one else gets to you first. I think even like the little bell sound. Yeah. Okay. Rachel! Hit that wall as hard as you can. Ray! Hey! Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> so! No. No. You ruin the mood. Where the fucking punk go? Well, I guess now we can adjust the water temperature. Why, mm. Rachel? Is it so wrong for me wanting to kill you? Now the obsessive guy coming after uh, Rachel is just giving me, like, Trent vibes. <laughs> Of course it's wrong, you fucking moron. Ma, you are so vicious, Rachel. Do you want him to kill you? He'll definitely bungle it up. Why not let me instead? I'll do a pristine job. He's been getting ready for this. He even did a special montage. It's the... <laughs> Wait, what's this guy's name? Edward? It's the Eddie. Eddie's getting ready song. <laughs> the Eddie's getting ready song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Show yourself so I can tear you apart! You are mm. making Zack sound like a teenage girl. He kind of acts like one a little a bit. A little bit. Yeah. Rachel, you are mine to kill! Uh, I don't think she gave you consent for that. Is that me? Probably. Yeah. Can you wait for me till then? Nobody's waiting for you at all, honey. <laughs> oh, now Eddie's going to get ready. Yeah. It's the Eddie getting ready sound. <laughs> Damn, the bastard bolted on me. You had just as much of a spineless wimp yourself. Me. You'll be dead before I even have a chance to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Like I said before, if you're gonna die, then at least make yourself useful first. <laughs> if I do, then you'll kill me, right? That's what I've been saying. What you said earlier. God. You said God. It's a word. Yeah. To God. <laughs> you really? said that you swear to God. This is... First of all, get up. Oh, uh, yeah. Real weird. Did not peg her as this religious. Is Same. what you said true? You'll swear to God for me? I swear to God. Swear to me! <laughs> you swear to God you'll kill me? Uh, for God's sake, yes. Now quit pestering me. I'll do it when I'm ready. I hate liars. Loots are great, though. I see. Are they fish? Gotcha. I thought they were dolphins. sharks. Or corpses. They're dolphins. I'll do everything I can. To make myself useful to you. This dynamic's so weird. 
Yeah, well, it's the dynamic we get. <laughs> So what's the plan now? Oh, I thought you knew what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the sound of a door opening earlier. Did we? I think it might be the door below here. That kid is waiting. Or so he said. He's going to be waiting a while. Well... I suppose you guys will have to wait a while, too, because we're done here. Ooh, gross. Oh. Yep, they are peoples. Anyway, um. we'll deal with that revelation next time. Buh bye everybody. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time.